Okay. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm cool with that. All right, you're all set. Okay. Um, thank you, everybody. Uh, welcome to the NOAA Arts Commission uh, monthly meeting. Um, just by, uh, we don't have a full um, commission tonight, so we don't have a quorum as far as voting, but we can move on with the meeting. Um, this is Mark Allen, chair, and calling a roll. Um, Matthew, if you will. Oh, I'm sorry, I'll have to unmute you. Um, Matt, uh, let's see. Uh, Sabrina, can you unmute Matt? He's unmuted. Okay. Okay, we'll come back to you, Matt. And uh, Nori, if you will. Uh, Nori Gruden, treasurer. Thank you very much. And uh, Kadeem. Kadeem Roberts, voting member. Thank you, Kadeem. All right, well, Matt, well, hopefully we can get you sorted out in a moment. You can just say his name so that they know for the record. I'm sure she's okay. Fine. Fair enough. Thank you. Uh, so we have Matt Callahan, voting member. And uh, I'm just opening up my agenda. Um, I can just share my screen. That would be great. Thank you very much. No problem. I'm back to working in my office. I was out for a couple of weeks. So I'm trying to get reset up here. Matt Excuse might me. need to Matt, you might need to update your um your Zoom. That's probably why mine did that yesterday in the meeting. You can see my illustrious office here. Um, so, um, of the, of the members who are here, we can't vote to approve the minutes. Did anybody have any questions about the minutes? Did you all receive them? Um, I didn't have any questions, Mark. Okay. Okay. If we have other members that come in, um, with a late start, then we can revisit approving the minutes. Um, but uh, otherwise we will just have to uh, approve them next month when we meet again. Um, I'd like to, uh, I'd like to move forward with the, uh, the budget committee uh, update from Nori. Um, and, uh, if you could update everybody on the, um, uh, the work you've been doing with Bob as, as well. Uh, yes, what I've been trying um to do is put it so there is um, an ongoing <clears throat> finance summary or ledger mm -hmm. that I'm looking for. I should just open up my emails that I had sent where there, um, Where it's an on here email. So it's a little bit easier to read than what we get from Maritza. Though I understand, I, now that I've been working with it, I understand it, but it's not. Is this what you've also been working on with Bob as far as the spreadsheet? Um, well, that's the one that I sent to both of you. Yeah. Um, So, so, so just to explain for the record uh, ab about the uh, spreadsheet you've been working on. Yeah, let me send it to... It's, um, as we get a spreadsheet, we get um, six categories from Maritza of where the finances are. So what I've been doing is sending it trying to condense it so it's just a general ledger of what we have, what we spent that much, and what's left for the year. Yeah, and that's what, that's the total 
of for the the year that uh, Maritza sends. I'm just looking at. So this is what, or I'll send this. I mean, you could send it. You could, are you sharing this from your screen? I can't, but I can. Um, well, this is being shared. If by you want, I don't know if you're able to share, if you're able to share it or not, but I can, um, I'm going to do a quick email to you and then you can share it. Yeah, we could we could we could share it with everyone after, but just to explain what you've been working on with Bob as far as this spreadsheet, just so everybody understands and then it's in the record. Uh, yes, yeah, so it is a um, it's a spreadsheet that's basically a general ledger. So it has um, the years, the the budget year. So it's um, 20 to 21 of the six different categories. And what we were budgeted for at the beginning of the year, then as the months progress, what's being debited out per month. Also the rollover money is account, um, accounted for as well as the transferring from one category to another. And then the total of what's left is at the end column for the year. So we've gotten a few new debits since, um, because we're paying to Lesco and then Melissa. So we'll have more debits going through. So it'll be taken into effect. So we have our balance. So it's an easier way to track than the, um, the sheet that comes over from Maritza, which is the thing that Bob is, I mean, Mark is showing. Yeah, that's coming from Sabrina. So basically, oh, Sabrina. just to summarize, we're seeing like these sort of the summary coming from Maritza and Bob had suggested that um, it would be helpful for us as a budget committee to be able to sort of have a more working Excel spreadsheet that would show you know, the flow of the money so that as we're entering in things that, that we spent money on, it's showing us the changes and the end result in terms of what's available. Would you say that that's a good summary, Lori? Yes. Um, so like, so that's, um, that's a work in progress, essentially. Yeah, so right now our balance with the payment for Telesco, that's the only thing that's come through for February, it looks like. Did you see the invoice from Nori? Um, no, sorry, from Michelle uh, that came through today or yesterday? Yes. Um, I didn't, but. I forwarded it to Maritza. She's all set. Okay. So, but without that, it's like $11,530.90. And then um, if we're flagging the $6,000 to redo the barriers for the spring, that's going to. Um, take the 6,000 out of other operating supplies. Okay. Operating supplies. Yes, because I think that the balance of that other operating supplies is just um, $6,120. Yeah. And then Mark for social media, if you wanted to take say like the $800 and the $100 from membership dues and printing and duplicating, you can do that. We could just move it to um, the advertising line item and make a new line item. Okay, yeah, so, so, so my question was, did, just my general question as a matter of procedure, um, would I, is that something that I would work on with the budget committee and do I need to get, a, or the social media committee or, I'm sorry, communications. I Do mean, I, you guys just need to tell me and Maritza how much you want in that line item so that we can move the money, essentially. Right. If, if you're- but I don't have to have a specific amount approved by the uh, voting members. 
Um, no, because it's negligible. So the only accounts that you cannot touch are the other operating supplies because that's for the barriers, the other professional services because that's for um, Michelle, and then the secretarial services because that's for Telesco. And those are like budgeted, like that's what we're going to spend throughout the end of the year. So. Okay, so that's that's really been my only hold up is why I haven't moved forward on it is because it was unclear to me if I needed to present, like, like if this communications committee needed to present a, you know, a specific dollar amount for approval by the uh, voting members. And no, but we can include it on next week's agenda if it makes you feel more comfortable. It's fine. Yeah, basically, I wanted to sort of know, like you know, like, I'm just looking for a reasonable monthly number, whether it's $100 or something that I can sort of work around, work with. Uh, yeah, whether... So we need to spend all of this money by July 1st. So we have, you know, the rest of March, April, yeah. May and June. So you got Okay, so there's plenty of them. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. Sabrina, for the barriers, can you take money out of the printing and duplication? Yeah, I can take money from anywhere for that. Okay. And that's, is that $6,000? Is that the even cost for that? Yeah, that's what we spent last year was 6,000. So oh. my, my idea was to have Mark budget out what he thinks and what the committee thinks is appropriate for social media boosting and then using the rest of the money for the barriers because that way we can increase the artist payments. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, even if it's by like an extra $25 or something, we can just boost them up across the board to be more. Because I think last time we only did $200, I think. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, it was very, I thought it was very well received as a, as a, you know, in terms of the results, I thought it was very well done, so. Yeah, it's just last time, I think there was people who spent like 28 hours painting them. <laughs> so yeah. Them even some even just a little bit more money, I think it would go over better. So yeah, you know, uh, I think I heard Bob say that we were talking about potentially not even having them painted but printed with their original art. Did you hear anything about that? Yeah, so we have the option to do that. However, we don't. It's like twenty thousand dollars to do that. So this year uh, will not be the year to do it. We were enough. able to do it in the winter because we had some money in the economic development budget but we use that for small business grants now so we don't have that money anymore to use. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay so are we has there been a proposed time frame for these uh the deployment? I'm just curious. I, no. guess, I, guess, I guess it's more appropriate to talk about that at another point but yeah, I think it really has to do with Bob. If he's going to curate again, number one, but number two, we're already seeing permits for outdoor dining since it's going to be it's going to be spring soon. Yeah. Um, so kind of the sooner the better, as long as we're not kind of going to receive any more snow. Fingers crossed. But I just don't want them to be painted and out there when the weather's still crappy because then yeah. um, they could get ruined before like the spring and summer even come. So I'm yeah. thinking probably the end of March, early April is the best. Um, but again, it takes, you know, it takes time. So if it's mid April that they get installed, that's fine. We just need to um, figure that out because we have to coordinate with JPW. We have to make the call for artists to get people to, you know, actually paint them and give them time to paint them. So Okay. To do all that jazz. No, okay. Sabrina, do is there any timeline of when City Hall is going to be open? No, I don't know yet. No. Because some of the money was allocated for the four show. Right. The uh, the mayor's gallery at um, the mayor's yeah. gallery, and then money for the people's gallery. So is that is the barriers in lieu of that because it's City Hall's closed? Correct. Okay. Yeah. So, so we wouldn't be planning anything anyway in City Hall until after July anyway, right? Yeah, most likely. Also, I don't foresee until a majority of the population is vaccinated that we uh, will reopen fully for to have events and things like that for people to yeah. come do like pay their taxes and stuff. That's different than you know having a gallery opening. So, yeah. 
Yeah, plus their People's Gallery was going to get redone. There was a lot of stuff that was in transition anyway. Yep. So, yeah. I, I, and we're I, still moving around in City Hall, so I don't see that coming up anytime soon either. Okay, fair enough. Well, I'm, I'm all about public art anyway. Uh, I, love, I love that we get to do art at City Hall, but anything that's art in the public space is, to me, is great for us. So, great for this. And city. there's also the opportunity for us to still curate something for example like have just artists put their put their work up there for sale even um or something like that in lieu of us actually printing photography or things of that nature that usually costs us money so yeah, yeah. fair enough you know the well, yeah, if, yeah. If, if it's, well if the money is not going to get used and we lose it we might as well do the barriers if that's i mean and, and that's okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah. agreed oh, very good Okay. Um, okay, we can move forward um, from the budget committee to the communications committee. Um, basically, the my biggest question is is now answered with that, and um, you know I just really want to work closely with Michelle on picking out the right content to boost, and also also to do the type of basically what they're essentially social media advertising, so we can recruit new people to see our accounts and become like uh, followers. Um, and that's what I'd like to, to see happen more. And she, I mean, like she's doing a great job, but I definitely, I, what is lacking is interaction between the voting members, personal accounts, sharing the items that get posted because without that sharing mechanism, we're not able to really, really expand um, the, the footprint without paying a lot of money. Um, so I, I really think that the more we can get our voting members to share the posts that she that she does, uh, the better it's gonna be uh, in terms of communicating the news. So that uh, that's me, I'll, I'll get off my soapbox with that now. Um, one thing we are gonna be doing is now moving into, um, we're gonna be hearing from Julio today about the MLK project. That's gonna be the next, thing for social media is really taking the content that Julio creates, posting that to our social media accounts, putting boosts on it so that we can really hit maximum people. Cause that's gonna be the next big thing is uh, community outreach for MLK. And I really wanna make sure that we're, you know get as much, um, you know, communication going as we can. And that's all I have for uh, social media. Although I do wanna get Matt, I know that you're really busy with your school and, um, and your schedule, but as much uh, communication as we can have with you on events and stuff, however yeah. we can tap you um, all the better because you, you have insight into a different age demographic than most of us. And you, yeah. have, you have insight into what's happening on uh, school in schools, actually being in an OAG boat. You know, you're, yeah. what grade are you in? But you're in college or you're in a... Okay, fair enough. Okay. Um, so, go ahead. Can oh, you hear me? I no? hear you now. Yes. You can? Okay, great. Uh, yeah, I'm a freshman at NCC at the moment. So I yeah, just graduated so, from Norwalk High. So there's a ton, there's a ton of art happening at NCC. Yeah. There's a ton of art related programs at NCC and a lot of courses and the, the instructors at NCC are really involved in the arts community. Mm -hmm. But I think that needs to be communicated better. Yeah. And, and you know, you're like the eyes and the ears at NCC about what's happening on the arts thing. So the more you can sort of, you know, take that as your role and help communicate that to myself and to you know the other commissioners and especially so that michelle can can uh can broadcast that you yeah know, that, that would be really helpful yeah we get um we get like weekly updates on student affairs stuff on half of it is always art based so i'll i'll send whatever i find through that or just through like looking it up on the website i'll send whatever i can find about art yeah, anything, guys, that, yeah. any newsletter that you get that's art related, just hit the forward and forward it to yeah. the Live Love Norwalk and, and myself and uh, and anything. So the more that we can communicate about the arts we encounter in our lives, the better. Same yeah. with the 
Kadeem, you're the eyes and ears, man. And like, you know, everybody. So. Got you. I miss you, man. I want to hear from you more often. Of course, of course. All right. Um, okay, let's move on to infrastructure. Um, I'll just uh, open it up to uh, to Julio it, to say hello, and uh, and uh, he's the only one from infrastructure really involved that that's here. So, Julio, are you around? Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. I'm a little dark here. Sorry. Um, yeah, um, I guess uh, what we're the stage that we're at now is the uh, call to artists. Uh, there's been uh, some documents going around with the call to artists uh, with the copy for that. Um, I think we're good to go. Um, I don't know about any final approval, Sabrina, if you have any info on that. I think I sent back that it's fine. I sent it around to um, the purchasing department as well so that they're aware of it. Um, I did also send it to Josh to do some press around it as well. Um, so we can hopefully get as much outreach as possible, but I think social media is gonna be a big part of that as well, so. Has, has Josh put out any release on that at all yet? Not yet, no. I think he's scheduled to do it um, kind of the week before things are due, I guess. He like has a schedule of how he does it. Okay. Um, so Julio, if we, I know that you had uh, said you were gonna put together some social content. Was that gonna be graphics? Yeah, yeah, I have some graphics. Uh, I, I can share them if you like. Um, and um, also, yeah, I mean, just kind of figuring out the community event as well. So, um, don't you just want me to throw it up on screen? Um, so, on what? Stop sharing and um, then you share, I believe. You should be good to share now. Oh, right. Hey, Bob. Bob Abriola just joined us, everybody. All right. So what's up, Bob? How you doing? Um, so this is a social media piece, uh, and this is for the community event that we're planning for, uh, for Earth Day. It's a cleanup, community cleanup. Um, you know, put this out there, working with uh, Cleaner Norwalk, or Norwalk, Keep Norwalk Beautiful. Um, and I think we're, we're all good with the city as far as any approvals. So we're hoping to get a, a parking lot on Martin Luther King secured so that we can have a site where we can kind of uh, have people come in and get uh, the supplies they're gonna need for the cleanup. And then afterwards, uh, hopefully have some refreshments and maybe uh, talk to some people and, and maybe share some of, the, some of the ideas. Well, not the ideas, excuse me, share some of the, the, the planning for the, uh, for the art project. Julio, David's helping you on that, right? David Chalkley? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. okay. Yes. Yeah, I've been, I, I talked to him, yeah, last week. So he's all, he's all on board. He's all good. So, I mean, it's just a matter of, I guess, securing the parking lot and where we're going to gather the people okay. uh, and then getting the word out. Julio, is that the actual graphic right there that you would like us to share? Yes, yes. I, I, I have to maybe secure the photograph. Um, I just grabbed it from the hour, but I guess uh, I can certainly go out and take another photograph or maybe talk to them about, hey, you know, I want to use it for the social if you, media. If you, could make, if you could make that as high res a photo as possible, that'd be great. Um, that would be my suggestion. And the other thing is, um, I know people don't love the, the NOAC Arts Commission logo. But if you can have anywhere represent that it's uh, arts commission related, I would appreciate that. Yeah, that's what this area, this black bar down here is. Oh, is I see. Any, okay. For any extra branding that we're going to need, uh, be it be at the Norwalk Arts Commission or the the corridor initiative, whatever, whoever needs be can be put on there. Okay. okay. I, would, I would definitely put the arts commission logo, but maybe also include the city seal, like co-branded a little bit. I would agree with that. So it's like official. <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah. say again. So uh, she's saying if you could put the city logo on there as like a co-brand with the Arts Commission. Um, or just the or just the city seal, since the city logo will probably clash kind of with the Arts Commission one. So if you want to put the city seal next to the the Arts Commission logo, that's fine too. Okay, just send it over to me and yeah. and 
and I'll get it on there. Uh, I don't know if I have the arts commission. Is this okay. thing called Art Up Cleanup? Is that is that what the no? This title? is the event. This is the event. This is the community is event where we're going to clean up. Uh, we're going to have the community clean up on. No, that. I know. I know that's what the event is, but I'm just wondering what it's called. Art Up Cleanup. Yes. Art Up Cleanup. And there's no space between art and up, but there is a space between clean and up. Yes, there is. Okay. And that visual is a picture of the street sign and those are like trees or bushes behind it or? Yes, it is. Yeah, he had taken this picture from a NOAA hour. So, um, yeah. Yeah, I'm not certain about the... Uh... Yeah, I mean, I don't wanna be art director on you, but I'm just... Trying to understand. I mean, I get it's. I guess Martin Luther King Drive, so that's good. There's the sign there. I don't think it needs to show garbage to clean up, but um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you want to. I, I just. I'm, if some people are very visual and they don't read much, so if I was looking at this, I'm trying to figure out what what the visual message is. But maybe there, there's there's extra copy that talks about what this is all about. So yeah, there's know. body copy. Actually, there's a there's. This is just for the event. But the the event you saw the copy that I sent around, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so that's the copy that would go with this. Okay. This is just the visual for the posting. And Julio, if you, I think if you would also, uh, when you when you get your final design, and if you could give us this, and like this is like the, a shape that might be used, say, in an Instagram story. But if you could also give it to us and it's more like a 16.9, that would be for like a Facebook post. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, um, that, that, that would be generally helpful. Yep. Okay. And you might and you might want to give us just one of just the art up, clean up the yellow part, you know, maybe just give us that as a standalone, you know, just so we have a variety of, of sizes and images. Got it. Yeah. So one thing, what, what happens with Facebook, especially with boosting posts as Facebook limits, the amount of text you can have in a square air, in, a, in an area space of, a, of an image. I forget what the image is, but it, it, the size is, it's something like 30% or something. It can't exceed 30% of, you know, I used to try to do posts where it was just the words really big and they would kind of strike it down. So, um, with this image, that would be the only thing my concern is that the, the text of the sign and the text of your, of your representation might add up to where we couldn't boost it because it's too much text. So yeah, I can, I, can do, I can do options where it's just all type and no photograph at all. Yeah, cool. Maybe like, yeah, yeah. So I don't want, again, I don't want to art direct you either, but um, this, but that's just something to keep in mind just from a social media perspective. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. I appreciate that. And Julio, I, I, did, I did give some input on like some of the copy that you had emailed out. So I know yeah. you said you would take a look at it, read it, and I, I hadn't seen any other emails come out, so. Yeah, I circulated a, a, a different version, the revised version. So uh, hopefully you, you got that or I can send it to you. Uh, um, I don't know if I, I got that. I incorporated the uh, the feedback. So yeah, actually, could... the revision that you sent, Julio, had the first part with the art up cleanup, but it didn't. It, mine didn't have the second part with the actual. Uh... Actually, there there should be two pages in the, in that document. I'm sorry, it's it's. Uh... Yeah, I think you just uh, need to send part two again. Yeah, I'm I'll, not so I'll... sure. I got that email. Can you resend that? Maybe I did and I deleted it. I don't know. I don't. I don't see it. So if you sure. can resend that, thanks. Uh, Julio, when, when do you see part two, the public outreach of part two, requesting like, the, the 10 artists proposals? When do you see us coming out with that? I think, I think these are maybe simultaneous. I think, uh, and, and, and I'll talk to the, the, the NORA Cleaner Coalition and see how big of a, a lead out they need for the community event or for, for the Earth Day cleanup. Um, but I, I would almost put them all out at the same time. I, I think uh, the pieces, you know, won't, hopefully will we'll work together that they, they'll give you a sense that they're part of the same thing or part of a bigger effort. Okay. So in terms of the artwork assets and in terms of 
having approval from Sabrina's people. You want to get this out ASAP, I'm assuming. Yeah, I think as much lead time as we can get so that people, you know. So, so then um, I guess my question to you is, at what point will you have the final assets ready for us to, to, to distribute? Because obviously we don't want to, we don't want to shoot the gun half flip. No, that's a bad analogy. We don't want to be premature in this, right? Right. Right. Yeah. Um, I think uh, yeah. If we're if we're all good with the copy, um, and then yeah, I'll share you know these layouts with you, and then uh, give you the different options, which would be the Facebook sixteen nine, and then maybe an all type version. Wow. Uh, it has no graph, no uh, photograph in it, and uh, I think we're good to go. Yeah, maybe if you could, um, I don't know if you want to share those through Dropbox or whatever's convenient for you, if you want to we transfer it as a some package, whatever is easier for you, but. Okay, yeah, I mean, yeah, I can certainly, yeah, I'll just put it together as one presentation and then, uh, yeah, if you guys sign off, then we're good. And if you, if you have that, actually, any of the copy as far as like suggested smoke content, uh, for the content, obviously you'll include that as well. Yes. Okay, great. Um, and um, once, just just so for clarity's sake, once we do that call to artists and we go good looking for those ten artist candidates, what's the time frame for the next set of actions? Um, Can you imagine. Once you get those 10, so I'm hoping that, you know, within, uh, I think the deadline and, and I'll check the deadline is kind of near uh, the, the event. So hopefully that could almost be a briefing kind of day where we ring, we invite the artists there to come in and hey, be a part of this uh, event, number one. And then number two is maybe just kind of, you know, brief them and they can kind of go and look at the space uh, that, that is chosen or the spaces that we're looking at. And, uh, you know, kind of make it like an open briefing session where we, we show the spaces and then, uh, you know, we ask for the formal proposals, but we invite them in as, as, as you know, one of the 10. Okay. Um, I've participated in a couple of these cleanup sessions uh, in my own neighborhood. Um, usually you'll get people out cleaning the street for an hour, hour and a half. So if you wanna plan on some sort of briefing period, in addition to, you maybe wanna think about that in terms of how you stage it. You know? Okay, I got it. That's Cause if people point. clean for an hour and they're really going low and then they sort yeah. of- Yeah, I purposely, I purposely made it just a two hour thing. So hopefully, you know, people can kind of jump in and jump out where they wanna, you know, be part of, uh, I think, having refreshments or at least will encourage people to kind of at least come in and have a donut or whatever. Uh, yeah. And, you know, maybe there's- Are we inviting the mayor to that? <laughs> Doesn't he go everywhere? He does, but you have to make, you have to go through his staff to make sure he's there. All right, Sabrina, that would be, need your well, help. Have you asked um, the Girl Scouts in that area or the Boy Scouts, they might need badges for that type of thing. That's an idea. Yeah, that's definitely an idea. I just, you know, I worry a little bit about kids because, you know, MLK is a bit dangerous as far as the traffic is concerned. Uh, people drive very fast on that road and, you know, we're going to be walking on the sidewalks, obviously, but, you know, it, it's a bit, it's a bit, you know, sketchy out there as far as the traffic is concerned. Okay. Well, generally, Generally, any group that you would invite like that would come with their own chaperone anyway. So, yeah, I mean, it's worth it to invite. Uh, I think of it as like an inclusion level. It's worth inviting people. Yeah. You know. um, anybody else have anything else? Uh, oh, Janet, welcome, Janet. Are you there? Who yes, are I, I'm I, here. I, I, yes. I missed the part on the. Um, 10, 10 artists, so mm -hmm. is that you had decided you'd narrow it down to 10 artists, is that correct? Yes. Okay, and, yeah. and that's based on how many installations or locations? No, that's based on, you know, kind of a, a, 
the stipends and the budgets for the stipends. And uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, we don't know exactly the final location, but maybe somebody will do a proposal for a stair for the stairs, or maybe somebody will do a proposal for the school. So I'm hoping to get, you know, multiple proposals that could could uh, help us down the line where we like have different funds available to be like, okay, boom, we have this, this one's lined up kind of thing. So, so but uh, I guess my question is there'll be 10 different art um, opportunities. So you'd have 10 different artists working or there's 10 artists invited to submit bids. 10 artists to submit bids. Okay, I gotcha, gotcha. And, and why just 10? Again, it's a budget. No, this is just to submit. This is just to submit, right? Well, no, no, no. Uh, for for a proposal, submit a proposal. So there's a stipend for each each proposal. Person. proposal. Okay, so there'll be ten. There'll be ten installations or ten works of art. No. All right, I'm confused. Sorry. Yeah. So we we ask for we 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 get ten artists, and from those ten artists, we would select the ones that are most viable so say if we decide it's the stairs then we would select one of the artists to do the stairs okay i, I got you so we're not we're not we don't have 10 opportunities but we're asking 10 artists to propose and then whatever if there's four opportunities then we pick four out of the 10 exactly and each artist will propose on each location or selected locations um i mean i think once an artist is 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 uh it's part of the process. I mean, it's up to them if they want to do, you know, multiple locations. I, I don't think you would want to limit that. Yeah. Okay. Got it. But again, I think the, the initial process is just to ask for resumes and some samples of work. And uh, from that, from that, we vet. Gotcha. You know, okay. We think are the most viable so there'll, candidates. There'll be a screening process from there. You'll select the final 10. Those 10 will submit proposals. Then from there, you'll select the final. Okay. Got it. Sorry, I didn't. I didn't get that part. I'm got it now. Thank you. Yeah, that's good because you can consider all the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't want us to be limited to only ten people. Like, so you can get fifty artists come in. Yeah. You'll narrow it down to ten. Then from yeah. there, they'll submit proposals, and then we select the best options out of the ten. That's right. great. That's perfect. Yeah. That's yeah, it seems like a fair way of doing it. Yeah. That's yeah, perfect. Yeah, and also just uh, you know, I don't. I, I I like you know, Mark had already raised this that you know. People have ideas, and, and once they give you their ideas, they feel, you know, like they're they're invested. So I think it's a little easier to at least judge them on the merits of, of their resume and their samples of their work, and whether or not it's relevant to what we're trying to do. Yep. Yeah. No, that's great. I think I think that's a really good process that you have recommended. So I'm I'm cool with that. I triple checked, and I do not have that email. So if you could resend that, that would be great. All right. Yeah, I'm certain that the, the email I received only had page one. So if you could just send page two or, or send both, that would be great. Got it. Um, Janet, um, just to, uh, for now you're here, I just wanted to get your name into the record as, a, as, a, as being here, if you wouldn't, if you don't mind. No, I keep, I'm, I'm, I'm invisible. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's fine. I just needed yeah, to get... It's, it's, it's normal, you know. I mean, people don't see me anyway. It's not so much that. I mean, although we'd love to see you, it's more about getting your name into the record as attending. Yeah, yeah well, um, you're seeing me today because it's a bad here day. Fair enough. So, so for the record, we have Jan and Evelyn, voting member in attendance. It's Evelyn, my friend. Evelyn. Oh, I'm sorry, Evelyn. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's Evelyn, Evelyn. Sorry. <laughs> Mike, uh, do, you need to, do you need to announce me? And I came in. I came in. A yes, sir. Later. That would be great. Yep. Bob Abriola, attending, vote, uh, voting member, co chair. Uh, very good. And um, Sabrina, do we now have a quorum? We now have a quorum, yes? You have five members. Right. That's, that's more than half of our, our total. Um, so um, we, when it came to the minutes at the beginning of the meeting, uh, we uh, did not uh, approve the minutes because we didn't have enough people. Um, did, did, anyone, is, did everyone here have a chance to review the minutes? Did anyone have any questions about the minutes? I did not review them, Mark, in full honesty here. Sorry, I, I can look at it quickly now. That's fine. And we can, if you guys can look at it from your agendas, 
and then by at the end of the meeting, we'll just uh, uh, vote to approve them or not approve them. Um, Janet, uh, so right now we're currently in the infrastructure section where we got the update from Julio. Did you have anything to add as far as infrastructure committee? No, I don't believe so. Um, um, I, I don't know if Julio had mentioned that, um, you know, as part of the community aspect of this for the cleanup, um, that, um, you know, we were looking to identify, you know, a parking lot or an area that would be sort of like the um, staging, staging ground or the, the meetup place on the 18th. So um, um, Julio had talked about maybe approaching um, a couple of these um, organizations, uh, the, the parking lot at UPS, I don't know if they're open on Saturdays or not, but other ones. But uh, certainly I would be willing to approach um, these individuals. Then we also talked about um, you know, the, the contact persons that we would need. And I mentioned that we could possibly get that from Sabrina. But um, you know, uh, in approaching these people, I mean, of course I'd be doing it you know, on behalf of this project and the Arts, Arts Commission, unless you guys have another suggestion of how we can find a staging area for it. I, I got a, a suggestion, but I don't know if the building's open but we should definitely approach Sky Zone, knowing that they still have traffic with kids, going to Sky Zone and parents, and that'll be a, another way to get the word out as well, guys. Just a, a suggestion. I like that idea. Yeah, like that's a good idea. idea. Right there, they're right, on, they're right on the boulevard there. Yeah, so what, what, what can happen is as they leave, they see all the traffic of food and people out there congregating and then they're like, oh, what's going on? Well, we're doing a cleanup. But then again, we're actually going to spruce up on the King Boulevard. And then the next thing you know, it's like, oh, now more people in the community are aware and that person will tell that person and the next person will tell the next person. So I definitely would reach out to the sky zone. Um, I believe, I don't know if Kelly's still there. She was the, the, the runner of that, but that's, you know, one suggestion for you guys. Right. Where is exactly, is it, um, um, that's not the Sono, is it the called the Sono Ice House? Yeah, it's, it's like something? almost across the street. It's down on the opposite side. Okay. Do you have a contact there? I mean, are we okay with that or? You I don't know. know. I used to know that I used to know the owner, but I don't think he's there anymore. Okay. I could just pop in there one day. Would that be our starting point? We would go from there and then kind of shotgun out? That, that's, a, that's a great question. Because uh, that's way down, that's way down. Yeah, yeah, that, that's a really good question. Um, oh, sky maybe, zone. Maybe multiple, maybe multiple mm. locations could be used. Yeah, because- uh, Julio, be I, would really, I would really talk to David and see what he normally does, because we've done this before. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I've and I think we use, I think we use the parking lots that the city owns as a staging area because it's easiest. <laughs> yeah, I think they they said they use the Sono the Sono parking lot. That that's what I was going to suggest. That that's oh the train more, station the train station parking lot. Um, yeah, I mean the 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 challenge is is it's a very long street. I mean not very long, but you know it's a bit of a walk. And you know if you're going to ask for people to to clean up a certain section, you know, they're going to be, you know, walking a far away. That's a half, it's like yeah. a half a mile down. I think, the, I think the last time they did it, they only focused on the medians in the middle. Yeah. Of the yeah. And did it that way. Not saying we have to do that, but it's probably easiest to focus kind of on one section or on one thing, like the sidewalks or something like that. Listen, the, the other thing is that, this is the, the project, the arch project itself is Martin Luther King Corridor. And, you know, when you look at the actual corridor, how big it is, it's vast. So not to say it doesn't have to be MLK Boulevard, in my opinion, I, I think it could be 
you know, where it's needed most. And I think it's maybe just figure out, you know, beyond that, it, it, it's also symbolic, you know? So yeah. just, just to I, say. I agree that it's symbolic, especially, you know, you're coming out and, and kind of making a statement with, you know, with this project. So, and certainly when we look down the line, um, you know, focusing on different areas. I think, you know, the school is a good area, um, but I think, we're, you know, right up front, MLK is symbolic as far as the street is concerned. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Yeah, I think an another um, proposed parking lot um, was the, um, the uh, Frontier or what used to be the SNET parking lot um, on Monroe, up is you know next to the backside of the post office there. Yes, that was. Or, that or, was. or even the the library, right? And well, that may be too small. The frontier. The frontier was suggested as well. So maybe that's the area. Maybe that you focus on, Sabrina. That more upper upper uh, MLK versus lower L MLK. Right. And there's yeah, the big exactly. parking lot right behind the right right behind the movie theater there, whatever that parking lot is there. That's a big one. That one just might still be used frequently because the people that actually work in those offices and have those stores over there still use their lots, but the mm -hmm. train station lots have been essentially empty. Yeah. COVID. So it might be easy. There's also the overflow lot that's um like directly diagonal from that parking lot that you're talking about bob that just has cars it's literally just empty. right yep yeah there's I, right that's right across from just, the frontier building there's a there's would, an overflow lot but there, there were cars loaded in that today i was buying yeah today. i would ask david what he usually does and where he usually does it and see what he suggests because he's done it so okay so one thing as far as the mayor goes is something I remember now last year, um, we had our Wall Street cleanup, but then they basically had a kickoff event at, in front of City Hall. And that's where the mayor spoke and it was like more like speeches. And I remember I had gone to that. They used that as their way of distributing the cleaning supplies. People go there and pick up the supplies. Now, David was willing to drop them off, as I recall, but um, maybe you want to consider that as part of your schedule, Julio, maybe like wherever the kickoff is, we get our commissioners to attend there and then we and, and we schedule so then the neighborhood cleanup is happens at, after that point. Just something to consider. We should we should. Mark, it's a good idea. We should make sure that people are wearing bright clothing or something because we don't want anyone getting run over. The yeah, the, street, uh, you know? the city the city distributes these yellow vests. Oh, they do? Okay. Yeah. And um, yeah. So that's uh, perfect. Yeah. Arts yeah. Commission sued for, you know, uh, volunteers getting run over. No, we'll have none of that. Mark Allen set to testify in Supreme Court. Oh, no, none of that. <laughs> um, okay, so infrastructure, uh, thank you for the update, guys. Um, uh, Sabrina, if you could take us back to the agenda for a second. Sure. Give me one second. Sabrina, do you know you know James Travers? I guess Jim Travers, yeah. Jim, 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 James, Jim. Yeah, yeah. Well, he took over Kathy's role. Yep. Okay. I spoke with him yesterday. Mark, there's nothing else on the agenda besides the minutes. Right. Okay. So we we're gonna go back. It's. Um... I read through them, Mark. I'm okay with those. Okay. Um, I, I am as well. Uh, do we have a motion to approve the minutes as, as noted in the agenda? I'll motion to approve notes. Do we have a second for Bob's uh, motion? I'll second the motion. Who's that? Matthew. 
Thank you very much. Um, all in favor uh, with a state your name as a I. I <laughs> <laughs> okay, better yet, are there any any nays? Any abstentions? Um, do we need me to vote yes for it to pass or no? Yes. No, right? To vote your conscience, Matt. All right, I, I'm gonna abstain because I wasn't here for the last meeting. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Quorum, then? Yeah, it, you had you have five of you still. Okay. Okay. I'm just making sure that the quorum, you just need majority of that instead of just total. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, ultimately, you have to vote your conscience. That's what we want you to do. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, so the motion carries, and uh, the minutes are approved. Um, uh, as far as uh, old business, uh, Sabrina, are we allowed to just uh, just uh, just uh, talk about any old business? What about new business? We didn't have any new business items uh, approved for the agenda. Um, we can't talk about anything new, though, but unless it's on the agenda. Yeah, we're at the mark as well for time. So, oh, all right. um, yeah, I, I'll follow up with people on the only old businesses. Uh, there's been, you know, we're continuing to develop this NOAC art space, which I'm on the advisory committee for. And I'll, I'll write an email advice, you know, updating everybody on that just so you have the general news. Um, that's, that's all I really have. Oh, and I'm going to be on a WPKN on Friday um, representing talking about NOAA public art. Oh, That's cool. Right. Can you send that out? I want to hear that. Sure. It's good. It's going to be pre-recorded, but I will, I'll definitely send you guys this through cool. the Fairfield Cultural Alliance. What about the traffic graphic boxes? Is there, have you heard anything about Tony's? The traffic graphic boxes? No, we can't. So our first attempt was to replace an old box with that box but there's technology inside that prohibits that from happening. So they're still being stored, but we can't put them um, in a park anywhere. Um, so they're either gonna have to take them back or we're gonna have to put them on private property where people have proved that they want them there. The parks and recs won't let us put them in the parks? Like, Nope. But, um, they, oh, they, they said no officially, they won't take them in a park? Yeah, unless it's temporary and we have a plan for it after the fact. How, what do they consider temporary? I, I don't know the answer to that. They want us to curate like actual art for all of the parks. They have a plan coming up where they want to like theme all the parks to have better art than that's there right now. I see. So. Okay. I, I so thought it that would be walk the theme would be the traffic graphic boxes. Man, I thought the um, that walking trail, I don't know if Nori, you had the idea over there behind. Yeah. I mean, I, there's a ton of space there. That would be a great spot to put those boxes, Mark. Why can't we get that approved somehow? I'll ask Jessica, but the overall consensus was not doing something like that. So I'll ask again. I mean, if it's a matter of just man hours to do it, like we can, they just need to give us the space and I'll get the team together to you know, get those in installed up there. They don't have to worry about that part. I, we just I, need it, I think it's I think it's more that eventually we're gonna have like 50 traffic graphic boxes that are decommissioned. So what do we do? <laughs> I don't know. If, okay. I mean, well, I mean, it's it's. A, I was thinking in the future, if you have them, you have like a mile or two walking trail that would be a destination. Yeah. Because there, there is a trail. You know, people it's go a to mile. the park just to see these boxes. It's it's at least a good half a mile to go around there, but it, it would be yeah. a great spot to do that. Hmm. So, Sabrina, would you say that, I mean, as far as being in sort of a holding pattern with DPW, is there a time limit on how long you're willing to store these boxes for us? No, they said it's, it's fine until we figure out what we want to do, so... I mean, Mark, I mentioned that I spoke to Father Sudair and he said he would be open to the idea of having Tony's box at the St. Philip's ground somewhere. Yeah. But I love the idea of having a kind of a park or a trail where all these things would go because we're going to have other decommissioned boxes coming up. What are we going to do? Yeah, we'll be interesting. It would be 
it would be of interest to get it sort of be clued into the schedule of DPW with, as far as like when boxes are going to get decommissioned. I don't we're, know if it's something they plan on. Or no, we're, we're not, on. we're not included. Their their um, ever source, like their utility boxes. So it's not our box. It's just on our right of way. So that's the only reason we know when they're being replaced. And unfortunately the one that had to be replaced was malfunctioning and that can happen to any of them at any point in time. So it's really just. Right. They it were just responding to an emergency, so then, then yeah, just taken down. I see. It, um, they they didn't notify anybody. Even David Shockley didn't know about Tony's box. I I found out through Dorothy, Tony's um, wife, to let me know. So yeah, they hardly let us know when they're doing anything like that, especially if it's normal maintenance, unless they're doing some sort of massive project. So yeah. Um, Sabrina, as far as the box going onto private property, um, can we figure out what the what the procedure or process for that would be? And then um, the as procedure far as is just we can either drop it off or they can come pick it up and move it. There isn't really any formally written thing about any of this. So, so, so the so the city wouldn't necessarily pay any money towards uh, installing it, right? No. We don't have money for that. I mean, we could use staff time. Like if DPW were to drop it off, like that's something that they could probably, we could probably figure out, but. Yeah. Cause when they install them, they install them on with like a concrete base. Yeah. Yeah. The problem is, is that we, they drop them off. It goes on private property and then the pri you know, what happens when the property owner decides I'm just going to throw it away. You know, we don't really have any control at that point. So it's one of those things where it's like, if we really want to see them preserved, I think we need to find a, a you know, a public space, you know, long-term solution. Otherwise, you know, we're, we're giving them away. Who knows what's going to happen to them? You know, the private property owner is not going to guarantee lifetime deployment. Or maintenance or any of that. Yeah. I love the park idea. If we can get that to work, no, we just have to convince the parks department. You know, that's really just it. Uh, but apparently, according to you know what Sabrina's saying, is they have a long-term vision for art and parks, which is great news. It's good, good to hear about that. Um, Slot it in. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Um, that, that's all I have. Anybody, uh, anything else to add before we uh, move to adjourn? Okay. Uh, Mark, I missed the budget component. Did you want to hang on afterwards and talk with Nori at all? Or do you have to? Yeah, I can. Um, yeah, we can do, we can, we can have a secondary call for the, uh, for the budget. We, Nori updated, we updated everybody as far as the summary work happening. I mean, the work happening on the spreadsheet as far as like, you know, turning it into a working document for the budget committee to follow the money and, and yeah. flow and stuff like that. We updated everybody on that. Okay. And Nori updated everybody on in terms of the, the money that's available. Yeah, I just wanted to go over the template and all that kind of functionality because I think we were still working on finalizing some of that. Yeah, well, we, I mean, that's really more of a budget committee thing. Yeah, that's what I was asking. Do you want to yeah. stay on for after the call? Yeah, yeah. We'll you, guys just, can't, you guys can't stay on. Can't stay on. We can start another meeting. Yeah, start another call. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. I'm just, I can start another meeting and we can hang out for a few minutes. Not a problem. Um, and as far as what the only thing we miss, as far as like talking about the money for social media boosting is going to come out of our, uh, Sabrina, was it? What was it? Printing and printing duplicating, and, and there was services. there's a hundred dollars in the membership fees you can use too, because I paid for the membership for the cultural alignment alliance, so you guys don't have to do that. And, and Sabrina, you said you had a city card number that we could use for that. I do. Okay, cool. So I'll coordinate with you offline. And also, we're going to use I think the bulk of the the bulk of the remaining to do the um, barriers this spring and Bob we can talk about that yeah, the other operating supplies oh okay yeah there was six thousand one hundred twenty dollars I believe in of that the six thousand is going to get used for the uh, springtime tra um, traffic barrier oh okay got it 
Okay. Okay, if there's nothing else, uh, do we have a motion for adjournment of the meeting? Somebody. A motion to adjourn. Thank I'll you, Janet. I we have second a second that. for that? Yeah, Bob Evriola, I'll second. And uh, do we have any uh, nays on that? Okay, do we have any abstentions on that? Okay, and then um, all in favor of adjournment say aye. 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 Okay, the ayes carry. Thank you very much, everybody. Have a great night, and I'll follow up with everybody else by email. Okay. All right, have a great night. Yeah, Thank you, Sabrina. I appreciate your help. Bye. Should I just keep an eye on my emails?